Hey guys, welcome to this new video and in this video we are going to set up Grafana. So this video is the part of monitoring playlist where we will be setting up monitoring on our team cluster with the help of Prometheus, Grafana and Alert Manager. So in the last video we saw how to set up Prometheus and in this video we will continue that and we will set up Grafana. So I am right, so right now I am in this Kubernetes development repository and in this repository there is a folder called monitoring and inside that you can see a folder which is Grafana. So inside this Grafana folder I have placed a couple of YAML files and these YAML files are uh, related to the deployment of Grafana. So let me just make you go through all these YAML files. So first is the this let's first go through this Grafana dashboard definition. So this is a config map. This is a config map list where uh, this config map list contains a bunch of config map and each config map is representing a Kubernetes dashboard. So you can see we have a bunch of config map and each config map, let's say if you take an example of this config map, this parallel config map. So here we can see there is a JSON file which is controller manager.json and this is nothing but the actual dashboard itself. And then we can go to this second uh, file which is dashboard sources so this is the file where we have defined the source like the where exactly our dashboards are going to be present uh, so that Rafana can pick those locations and display those dashboards to us <coughs> then we have a deployment dot yaml file which is a Rafana deployment and uh, this is a this is a kubernetes deployment and here you can see that we are using the image version a dot 1.1 and then we are defining some volume mounts and these volume mounts are coming from the config map and these are related to, the, to those our data sources and dashboards that we just saw so we are mounting those config maps and config uh, uh, basically those config maps to these particular locations so that we can uh, visualize those dashboards so you can see bunch of volume mounts here and then these are the volumes where we are actually referring to those config maps that we just saw then this is a grafana service so this is a grafana service which is of type load balancer and this is the port where uh, this service will be connecting to the pod then we have a service account where uh, the name of the service account is grafana and then we have a service monitor which is a custom resource that we deployed in the last video this was the custom resource. So the custom resource for this particular uh, uh, resource was already deployed in the last video. And this time we are creating a service monitor which is going to monitor our Grafana at an interval of every 15 seconds. Next, we have a Grafana storage which is nothing just a persistent volume claim. And we are, here we are defining up a storage of 10 gigabytes so that uh, Grafana can store uh, all those data in, that, in this persistent volume claim. And we are referring this persistent volume claim within the deployment as well. So if I show you and in the volume section, here you can see we are using that persistent volume claim, which was having name Grafana storage. So now let's quickly uh, deploy all these YAML files and then uh, we should be able to get the load balancer IP and then we should be able to visualize all those graphs. So let me open my lens ID here. And let's go to the dash uh, that Grafana folder. And here, let's run the kubectl apply command. So this should deploy all those YAMLs that we just saw into uh, into the cluster. And we should be able to see those pods here as well. So let's wait for them to come. So right now it is creating config map. It created the secret. It created the config map and now it created the deployment and then service then service account and then this was the custom uh, uh, resource service monitor and then this is the persistent volume claim. So let's wait uh, for this deployment to get created. Yeah, so we can see our Grafana is deployed now and let's go to the services so that we should be able to get the load balancer IP. Yeah, so we have to wait for a couple of uh, seconds to get the load balancer IP and then we should be able to use that load balancer IP to uh, 
to access the graph on our dashboards. All right, we got the load balancer IP address, and now uh, we can use this IP address to see the dashboard. So let me open my browser here. Yes, so I have opened that IP address, following by the port 3000, which is where our service is running. Now we have to log in. So the default username password is admin. Admin. So the password is also admin. Now we have to set up a new password. So let me just give a random password here. Let's submit this. And now we are inside the Grafana. So let's go to the dashboards and let's try to see what all dashboards we have. So if you go to this option inside the manage, you should be able to see all those dashboards. So if you expand this default folder, you can see that we have a bunch of dashboards here. And let's try to uh, see one of the dashboard. Uh, let's try to see this dashboard, which is node slash node exporter. So this dashboard is going to give you the uh, details of our node and you can flip the nodes from here like uh, since this cluster is having a three nodes so you can see all those three nodes listed here and based on the node whatever node you have chosen you will get the metrics of that particular node so you can see the cpu usage of that particular node you can see the average uh, load on that particular node you can see the memory usage you can see the memory uh, usage uh, with respect to the memory cache the memory free and the memory buffer and then you should be able to see the disk io and the disk space utilization so all these details you can see here let's try to go to one more dashboard and uh, let's try to explore that as well so let's go to this dashboard which is kubernetes slash uh, compute resource slash pod let's try to see this uh, dashboard so here uh, you can you can choose the namespace uh, and based on the namespace you can choose the pod here so let me just choose the monitoring namespace because this is the namespace where we have deployed our resources related to the monitoring like Prometheus and Grafana. And here you can choose those pods. So let me just choose this pod which is Prometheus 801. This is the actual Prometheus pod. And we can see the CPU utilization of this pod, the CPU throttling, the, the quota and the memory usage as well. Like how much memory this particular uh, pod is using and we can see the network related stuff like the rate at which packets are sent and received so now let's try to uh, make some queries with the help of this this dashboard so for this we have to go to this explore section let me just discard the changes here and here let me just choose the data source as prometheus and here we can write our own promql so let's try to run the same PromQL that we uh, saw in the previous video. So that was related to the pod container info. Let's run this Q pod container info. This was that query that we ran last time. Let's try to execute this. So this should give you the uh, all the uh, 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 container information for all the pods. So you can see all these pods here in the in the table as well. Like you can see the container names, and uh, then you can see the uh, timestamp. You can see the image image ID. You can you can see the instance uh, uh, instance IP address as well. Uh, let's try to uh, see one more query, which was I think related to the node. So cube node info, and this should return us the three nodes that we have. So here you can see. It returned us all the three nodes that we have in our system and you can see the details of those three nodes uh, let's try to see the count of these nodes so what we can do we can just wrap this into a count function which is an aggregate function and this should give us that count of nodes that we have so you can see it returned us a value of three uh, since we are having three nodes in the system and here also you can see that uh, the graph is plotted for three uh, uh, three nodes, like for the value three. Yeah, so you can pass filtering here as well. Like you can just give these uh, parentheses, and then here you can pass the filters. Like you can see that we have a bunch of options here. Like we, you can filter by container name, instance, and then internal IP job, kernel version. So you have a bunch of filters here as well. And yeah, this is what I wanted to cover in this video. So that's all for this video. And if you like this video, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.